Good day ladies and gentlemen capsuleers, my name is Yadarion. Today I will be showcasing a collection of samples uh, in which I um, showcase how I uh, choose the classification for each sample. Um, there are some videos made by CCP, uh, Johnny Peel for example, who did an excellent job at uh, explaining what project discovery is. Uh, this is not such a video. I am just going through samples and samples and tell why I choose a classification. So you have a bit of a reference point of what to choose, uh, because the tutorial is fairly uh, clear. Um, often there's only one or two options, but uh, when you're doing foreign cell samples you come across a whole lot more. Um, I have no background in biology or anything, I'm just an, uh, a player who likes the, the game and the idea behind it from crowd science. As you can see I've played it uh, for a while, I'm rank 70 and I have an accuracy of 96%. I hope that's a bit of an indication that I'm at least somewhat proficient in this game. Um, and let's get right to it. I will also, uh, by the way, explain uh, a few common mistakes and how to avoid those. And that will be uh, helpful if you're identifying uh, this stuff. So let's get right to it. Um, the object is of course to identify the green staining in combination with um, the cytoplasm and the nucleus. In this case you see that some of the holes in the blue overlap with the green specks in it. And here again. Now normally if you look from a distance at this you would think it's uh, nuclear speckles. Um, but those do not overlap with the blue holes. So you would guess it would be nucleoli, for example this one, which overlaps perfectly with it. I'm going to go with that one. As you can see there's uh, not real staining to be seen in the cytoplasm, so in between. So checking this one just because you see a vague green staining is, well, not, not necessary. So let's go with that one. Again, this is a difficult choice, it might also be the one above. The community is still torn on that one difficult one. And let's get right to the next. Ah, okay, again you can clearly see the edges here but with holes in it, with overlaps with the blue holes, so that's a very clear indication often of a nucleoplasm. In this case the green staining is a bit more um, clear, it's also dense and very good to be seen, so I would check it in this case. Uh, quick glance, I see nothing else interesting. Let's go to the next one. Yeah, that's 100% uh, interesting. Uh, so this this is a nice one. These are quite rare. This is a nuclear membrane, which uh, has a clear, clear edge on the nucleus um, and specks in between. Now the interesting thing here is that there's normal specs in between, um, but not to a high degree. So we check nucleus as well. In this case, there's some stain bleeding, I would call it, outside of the cytoplasm, which is the red part, which would indicate new uh, plasma membrane, but to a very uh, vague degree. But it is outside, so I'm still going to check it. Um. Now the dense green is overlapping with uh, cytoplasm within the cell as well, um, in the form of dense green speckles, uh, which would indicate cytoplasm. So we're going to check that one as well. Four classifications. Uh, I believe the top is five. You can't do six classifications for some reason. Um, well, there's some clear cytoplasm right there, but it's not too much going outside cytoplasm, so it's not going to be plasma membrane because that's just often more uh, paint like uh, smudges outside of it. So let's check that one and go with it. Oh. It's a community consensus. Not even, it could be even a uh, HPA uh, checked one. But as long as it's good, that's interesting. 
Now this very vague staining. That's one, one, two, three. Hmm. See, the problem is that there are holes in some of these. So you would think nuclear plasm, but the green is very low key. So there's a few extending, so I would go with nuclear bodies few. Even though it's very vague. I'm not sure if this one is correct. Hmm, it's the highest percentage, but community is torn. Well, that one. Mm, yeah, that's a very clear nucleus for a change. But is it cytoplasm? This is the question <laughs> for basically every uh, thing, because some people think everything is cytoplasm, but in this case I would actually think it is, because there's no clear pattern to be observed beside dense green, um, which would indicate something else. Mm, this is an interesting one. You see holes within the blue, and there's green in it. Now, the first thought you would have is nucleoli, but there's also a slight chance it's fibrillar center because it looks like a dense ball, but on closer inspection there are multiple single specks which are just very densely populated within the nucleus. But I think they're so densely populated that it actually is nucleoli. Hmm. Now the outside staining is interesting. There's definitely something of a pattern going on here. You see it going in um, very vague ropes. I would almost think this is endoplasmic reticulum. Yeah, the color is also a giveaway. Endoplasmic reticulum often makes it not entirely yellow, but a bit orange. I would go with that one. But I don't think many other people have chosen that. I think they would go with cytoplasmic. Yeah, nobody selected it, but I'm I'm actually fairly sure it is. Mm, next up. Very weak staining to be observed. Mm. This is a difficult one. I would almost classify this as negative. Or unidentifiable because it's so evenly. I'm gonna go with negative here. Though I don't think it's a popular choice in this case. Hmm, 16%. People, if the green is this vague within the cytoplasmic. It is not cytoplasm. It really is not. Please keep that in mind. Oh, we are making good progress on uh, the low. Again, very clear nucleus here with holes in it that seem to overlap. Yep, definitely nucleoplasm. There. It's very evenly staining within this part, so that would be cytoplasm, but this part the green specks are more uh, defined, so I would go with vesicles as well and obviously we have cell to cell variations in that case hm, interesting okay, oh this is an interesting one mm, there's a Is this nucleoplasm or nucleus? Let's define that first. I mean, there are holes in it, but they are very, very vague. No holes at all there. I'm gonna go with nucleus there. Now the edges. You see, cell junctions somewhat looks like it, but um, you can see here that there are at the edge of the periphery are green stainings that are not connected to anything and that's one of the um, things that cell junctions define so I would go with uh, focal adhesion here and there is too vague of a green staining in the cytoplasm to call it uh, cytoplasm 
So let's just leave it in there. Fifty percent. I knew some people would go for nucleoplasm there. It's a difficult one, this one, but I'm actually fairly confident it is. Because if you overlap it, sometimes there are whole like structures. Difficult one. Next step. Oh, that's interesting. That there is a cytokinetic bridge, definitely. And we have one there uh, going on as well. There are defined edges to the fairly evenly stained part, so that would be a nucleus. And no, it's not uh, enough staining for cytoplasm, in my uh, humble opinion, but what is that? Now, if it would be more in the center, I would go with the centrosome there, but it's not, so let's just leave that one at that. Come on, people. Don't press cytoplasm on everything. Hmm, cytokinetic bridge again, there. Interesting. It's a very vague staining there, and some strange structures at the side, which are very reminiscent of the Golgi apparatus. Bit rope, unidentified, strange collection. Um, yeah. I'm not sure if cytoplasm is uh, in place here. Structure does not really have a pattern to it. So I think I would go with that. And now for the nucleus, because um, it's very vague, that's for sure. Um, is it green enough to warrant a nucleus? I think it does, personally. So I'm gonna check it. But if it is, that's debatable. The rest of the people uh, we're also not sure, but cytoplasm, cookie apparatus, where? The Cytoskeleton. Because if you see something like this between two cells, red stripes with a clear gap in between that's sometimes filled with green, it's a cytokinetic bridge. And it's always that easy to observe. But often you do. Now the green overlaps with the holes in the blue here. That's for sure. Mm. They're more like speckles than round balls, but there's not... Um, I think it's gonna be the Fibrillia Center, but I don't think many people would check the same. Oh, they do. Interesting. I'm gonna play to la rank 71, so just a heads up. This is a clear Nicoli with... See if there's holes in the green, it could indicate an endoplasmic reticulum, but it's more often a bit more ropey around the nucleus in that case. So I'm still gonna go with uh, cytoplasm right there. <laughs> okay, How about three more or four, I guess. Very vague. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go with negative here. Don't try to see uh, structures where there are any. Because there's absolutely no reason for that. Oh, this is a beautiful example of uh, a nucleo, uh, nuclear membrane. Very clear. No structures within the cytoplasm, so we can just leave it at that. Mm. Should you also check the nucleus in the case of a nuclear membrane? Debatable? I'm not sure, actually. I mean, there is a very, very uh, clear green staining going on, so that's in its favor. But I don't know if it's part of the nuclear membrane already 
Uh, I'm not sure if you have to check the nucleus except for when it's really strong in density. Yeah. Difficult one. Okay, let's head on to the next. Mm. Definitely holes to be observed, but also quite... Now this needs to be more uniform. Mm, not really a pattern going on there. That right there, don't miss it guys. That's the cytokinetic bridge. Mm. Yeah. And the last one. Before we rank up. Hmm, it's an interesting one. Let's look at the structure. There's not much going on in the nucleus, so let's just skip that for a bit. The structure is not really well defined. I mean, it's not going totally around it. Sometimes it just meshes between cells. I am fairly sure this is intermediate filament. Uh, you would think it's endoplasmic because of uh, the structure, but that's often a bit more pronounced and um, symmetrical as a whole, uh, whereas the cytoskeleton often um, shows itself as a smudge, like this. But the problem with it being an intermediate filament is that uh, there's a bit too much of uh, connected dots going on and too little of smudges. <laughs> so that's, this is a very difficult one, actually. It, though it may seem very clear from the outset, it may even be mitochondria, but it is too smudged out for that. That would be my guess. So I would be guessing endoplasmic reticulum or intermediate filament. And in this case, because with this structure, that not wholly corresponds with any of these. I think I would go with this one. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. This might as well be. I'm gonna press both of them and press abnormal sample. Maybe it's something new. Yeah, oh, it's definitely not cytoplasm. <laughs> maybe, 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 yeah. Difficult one. And we ranked up, I got 6.8k uh, analysis credits. And we are proficient analyst level 2 now. Well, this is for today, guys. I hope you have a bit of an understanding how I go about uh, analyzing uh, the samples. I hope uh, you can do something with it and incorporate it in your. Uh, own analysis of uh, project discovery samples. Uh, good luck with it and until next time.